Hey, we're here at Mount Vernon in Nola, War Eagle Stadium, ready to take our Bobcats getting ready to go into action. I'm with Blaze, <laughs> who's a little bit hoarse tonight. I get, I get. So, Mount Vernon and Ola, they have two losses on the year. I was find their, um, trying to find where they rank in the conference. Three and oh, so they're considered second because Quitman has four, four wins and they just have three. Uh, Cedar Ridge all hanging in there in second or third place with two and two. So they're going to work it around. Anna Jane has it up at the top of the key. She's going to go inside to Michaela. Michaela's going to kick it out. Jane, she's they've, she's picked up her dribble. She's looking. She gives it to Audrey. Move. Uh, real aggressive defense Mount Vernon and Ola is bringing on the court tonight. It's kind of stolen by Mount Vernon. They're going down for a left-handed layup, and it's good. We're going to open with two to nothing in favor of the War Eagles. Or War Hawks. War Eagles, War Hawks. I, I'm going to have War Hawks. Anna Jane, the top of the three. It the Warhawks. They're driving. They're going to play a quick pace ball game tonight up and down the floor. Size girl on the inside. She's at least 6'2", much taller than Anna Spurlock. She's looking down low. They've found a girl that's open, and easy does it. And then Mount Vernon bringing a press. Marshall doing a good job breaking it. Michaela down. Anna looking for Sarah Basinger. Little struggle under the basket with the ball, but Audrey gets it. Three is going to roll off into the hands of Anna Spurlock. She makes an excellent move with a hand in her face. Doesn't. Gets the rebound, but kicks it back to Anna Jane. She shoots and misses. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to belong to the Marshall. Everybody out there, let us know Have we got good, how the live stream is. Good stuff going on. Yeah. The ball out underneath our bucket. Look up. Off to Michaela. She's going to drive the baseline. Warhawk gets their hands on it and bounces it out of bounds, so it's going to remain with the Bobcats. Into Michaela, and it's stolen. Woo! Kind of slow a little elbow. Warhawks basically going to get up and down the floor pretty quickly, except for moving on the inside to their bigger player and run a player on the baseline as people and get that easy layup. So they've got two options right there. Get it on the inside. If you don't set shot, so if you collapse on her, she's going to hit the runner on the baseline. Sarah Banger, Basinger. She Bobcats doing an excellent job on offensive boards tonight. Anna into Michaela. To Michaela. Down low to Anna. She's going to shoot a little set shot, and in it goes. Good job. Four to that. And this is the number one team. Well, equipment's Oh, okay. But they're both, they don't have any losses in the conference. Wow for Mount Vernon, and they just scored again, 6-2. to two. They're bringing an aggressive press. And Spurlock could find Sarah Basinger. Had a good thing going. Had an excellent idea going. It now, but that what I said before, you know, when Mount Vernon and Quitman square, and that might be, uh, that's going to be next week, next Tuesday. Or somebody's going to have to lose. So, on their schedule, they've got us and the equipment on Tuesday. Marshall's schedule. We're playing 
Mount Vernon in Ola. Our team boat game's been canceled Thursday night. In Warhawks steal it. Southside on Friday night, and then we travel to Sloan Hendricks on Tuesday, which I'm glad we're that we don't have to get up early the next day. Warhawks controlling it on their end of the court. We go to Sloan Hendricks next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. We don't have to go to school Wednesday. Because Tuesday's our last day. All the way down. Logged, but she's going to go to the line for two shots. So that's a good time to be going to Sloan Hendricks. Yeah. If you're going to have to go on a Tuesday night, you certainly don't. Bay Singer sinks the first one, scores six to three. I was talking as if they were going to continue to be winning. If they lose to us tonight, we definitely know who first and second. It doesn't go. Warhawks come away with the rebound. They're going to it rims out, but they've got a quick little rebounder. She goes in. Anna Jane had our Anna 23 batted it out and it went out of bounds, so it's going to belong to the Bobcats. Warhawks, we're good at breaking it. We're we're not converting on. Ooh, that was close. Dribbling, going to little jumper. So, oh, good job, Sarah Basinger. Throws it back on their legs. Nick. We just need, we've had this same play. This will be the third time. We just need to be able to put it in a bucket. Yeah. Definitely an open shot. Looking back to Michaela. Looking inside. Warhawks hit it out of Michaela's hands. It's going to stay with the Bobcats. Coach Ballard coaching, and I'm over here trying to help him too, and I don't think that's the best of ideas. Michaela's taking the baseline. She's going to shoot. 23 gets her hands on it and blocks it. They've got a left-handed layup, and that's the second time they've had that. So we've got to be aware of – I feel – girl's down there. She's going to get the rebound. We're going to take off for the bucket and get an easy layup. So we've got to be aware of that situation. And we've got to get on down the floor and cover that layup. Bobcat's working it around. We throw it out of bounds. Blaze, you're just working feverishly. Are things not working out right over there? No, no, everything's good. Okay. Just, I'm moving the camera a lot. Okay. Hawks working it around. Inside, dropping it over our heads. And I'm going to... So I don't know how tall Anna Spurlock is, but number 23 is a good four or five inches taller. Two, six, three. Anna, Anna Grace has it. Back to Anna Jane. Over to Audrey. It's going to rim out. Oh, Anna Grace is going to get caught. Hey, uh, we're getting a call that it's lagging about every 10 to 15 seconds. We are having why we couldn't um, be up. Oh, I see. Michaela with a rebound. She's going to go all the way in for a layup, and she's going to be fouled. How tall is that big girl? About 6'3". How tall is Anna? 5'10". She's a lot taller than Anna. Michaela's at the line shooting, too. First one's no good. Ten to three. Is the yep. The second one's good. Nothing's gotten Blaze tickled here. No. I'm just going to tell you, folks. We drove down in a typhoon. A typhoon. The whole time we were driving, it was some kind of rain, wasn't it? Blaze? Audrey on the fast break. Can she make it? Can she make it? Yes, she does. Good job. Left-handed layup for Audrey. No, I see the freeze. Okay. Go, 
Warhawks working it around. It's going to go in and out. Anna's going to be there for the rebound. She gives it to Michaela, who was totally surprised by that. Got a call here. Got a timeout. Time out of the game. There's 55.8 seconds left to go in the quarter. You got it working over. No, I think it's the weather, actually. You do? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, for rain we didn't have back in the summer, we are being blessed with it. He's talking to um, Lake Area Sports, who does. Gers Ferry Lake is here tonight. Gers Ferry Lake is here tonight, and he's talking to them about maybe connect. All right. Yeah, we're back on. Okay. Point value happened while we. Yes. Yeah. You <laughs> oh, goodness. I felt like she was getting fouled down there. We're going to have a foul. Ninola's third foul of the game. We only can do what we can do. Fourth time. Let's score here, girls. She has a nice little five out. Mount Vernon and Nola with common opponent that we have with Mount Vernon. conference walls is spring we learned the other day. No S. There is no S except at the beginning of spring. Both of us fell fell to the Mammoth Spring Bear. For tonight. We got to blaze. Are we on or off? We'll all talk and pretend we're on. Had a layup, Michaela, and she got. And eight, we're pulling in right here. We are aware of the problem. <laughs> Uh, cause you anxiety, Blake. With the ball yeah, headed to the end of it. out. Back. Looking, looking.
on. I didn't. Guys, we're working on that. We're trying our best here.
to 10. The Warhawks are ahead. Lady Bobcats still battling. Jane. I, so I think we're back up. We have Sarah Basinger, Audrey, Sarah Evans, Michaela. Just not. We're up. Warhawks working it around the perimeter with the brick wall named Anna Spurlock. The ball went out on. It was, I have, oh, that was wrong. You got, <laughs> I hate Ballard's correct. It hit Sarah by and we're still out of problem. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, Mike's. Do it again. Do it again. Not bad. Go.
Alright, let's see what we got. Well, a little their, bit's better than nothing. It's their internet. Are we online? Yeah. Well, coming back from the second half, it's 21 to 10. Audrey just shot free throws. We're having internet problems, so we'll do the best we can. I know maybe you can at least keep up with the wins and the, who wins and loses. So Mount Vernon and Oakland. 24 to 10, still bringing their press. Bobcats kind of struggling right there. Mount Vernon in. Working it to the left, back to the top of the key. The fence, good block out. They have some good defense. It just falls right out of their fingertips. But the Bobcats are going to have the ball on a out violation. Go to the ball. Audrey to the Florida Sarah Bay Singer, who's going to launch a three. She misses. Oh, we've got an offensive foul. So the ball out of bounds, and it's going to belong to the Warhawks. What do we got over there, Blaze? Oh. Just to clarify something I said earlier, a common opponent, two teams, the Warhawks and the Lady Bobcats, is Mammoth Springs. And both of those Mammoth Springs. Our boys did not lose to Mammoth Springs. I said that that was a common So Bobcats have scored a three. It's 24 to 13. Warhawks working it around, trying to look at. They're playing go inside or out, doing go inside to the big girl, and if we collapse, at least someone open for. Um, We're, uh, I'm gonna try something. Warhawks playing a very aggressive defense for the. For they're very quick. They're easy to, they're swapping at the ball. Sinks two. 30 to 15. Quarter. Didn't really, I don't know. Ball. So. Scored. Getting their defensive rebound. Working it up again. Audrey, they're trying to collapse. Um, with a little, throw it down the floor, and they're going to 34 15. Bobcats need to just work on beating the passes, or good dribbling. After a battle with some back on the court. Inside the Oh, she was open for a three, but they're just ready to release the the fit Working. Back to the top. Number twenty three is there for the rebound. 
like I said, she is about it's hurt, Blaze. Her knee. She's already wearing just right. Very speedy, I'll say that. The Warhawks are very speedy with the team they're putting on the floor right now. Ball is going to belong to Is it better? Messages. Uh, Blaze, I'll check. You want me to check YouTube or Facebook? Just have somebody message you. Hey, I'm let running. us let me know. Send me a text because I'm running off my personal hotspot now, and it seems I mean the quality is gonna be horrible. Yeah, but it's not gonna be delaying. Bobcats or, just scored third quarter. It's thirty-six to seventeen. But nobody, they've got to stop. Good. Nobody text me because and yeah. So that'll pull from our live stream. So just text me, ask them. Not me. It's good. It is Sound good. is good. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Okay. Sound is good. I don't know about the video, but well, at least they know what's going on. If the sound is we'll good. pretend we're on the radio. <laughs> okay. I won't break out in song. <laughs> to all of you, I won't break out in song. However, I did find a song I, I liked today. I think you should break out in song. I could sing the song that I found today. On all right. TikTok. I'm putting my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay. I'm getting way too many messages. It's still lagging, but not as much. So at least they can kind of keep up with what's going on. And probably if I were to break out in song, they've probably all turned us down anyway, and they're just watching. Like they can't, I can't even listen to Bonetta and Blaze show. I hate to say it, but this is becoming a regular. Yeah, I think where maybe. We go to gyms. And have internet issues. Yeah. And it's not our equipment. Yeah. Be guys well, I think you wear when our when our stuff when we don't have good internet, you you take too much responsibility. We can't help what's going on in the other gyms. Our equipment's good. It's state of yeah. the art. So no one thinks it's other gyms. Our equipment's good. It's state yeah. of the art. So their post player go down on a putback uh, in extreme pain. So. She up better with the five girls that are on the floor. are very quick, but we can be just as quick on defense. They're work. They're in a zone. Warhawks to the middle. Bobcats. Michaela comes away with it. Warhawks are going to be called for a foul. Fourth foul of the quarter or the half. This has not been that aggressive of a game. It's been a lot of years. Audrey controlling the ball up side to Anna. It's going to roll off the tips of players. Last touch by the Warhawks. 
It's going to belong to the Bobcats underneath. When it glitches, is it just, if it's doing it like it is. Dr. Blaze the key. Good for our lock. Be any, be any good because that's what I'm on. Can we not? We're sorry. It's just M's are good with Wi-Fi and some are not. We're just going to roll with the uh, the glitching, guys. We're sorry.
Are we on? Yeah. So we're having Wi-Fi. Roll with it. We'll be, we'll drop and come back on, drop and come back on. Uh, don't know if it's the, but we're going to do our best. Girls fall to the Warhawks. Played a hard fought game. So, um, Warhawks and Quibman are both at zero losses in the conference so far. On top because they have played more games, but they're going to play. Did I say next week, Blaze? Yeah. So what lines up for the Bobcats the rest of the week? Well, we had planned on playing Tim. Games being canceled and due to Timbo being in semester test mode, canceled. We couldn't find another game, so we'll be off Thursday night, Friday. Out of B Branch, where the Hornets' nest is, not the Southerners. Tuesday, we'll be heading over to Imboden, and I was just looking where Imboden. Where is that at? Fifty-eight miles past Batesville, so fifty mi forty-seven miles, fifty-eight minutes, forty-seven point nine miles past Batesville to get their place. How long? Uh, I don't even... I'm trying to look and see. Here, I'll do the directions. So... Those that followed the 2008... 2007-2008... Yes, yes, I am. And we went, kept going to Cave City. You're going to go through Cave City... On up through Calamon. Calamon. On over to Jessup, up to Smithville. Only when you get to Imboden. It is 58 minutes past. So if you know how long it takes you to get to Batesville, just go ahead and edge you another hour. The good thing is. I'm excited about this, as Batesville has the most beautiful Christmas lights. So on the way, you can kind of take a gander at the Christmas lights on White River. She's an Imboda. I-M-B-O-D-E-N, Imboden. That's where Sloan Hendricks is. Announcing the players right now, Logan Moore, Jesse Raglan, Peyton D. Priest. Oh, the good thing is we don't have to come to school on Wednesday. Is we don't have to come to school on Wednesday, so take where they stand in the conference. Oh, I'm on the girls. Oh, I'm on the girls. Marshall are tied for first place. They've both played three games in conference and won them all. No, and we're three and zero. Oh. And they have only lost two games overall. I'll check that. Then the conference goes: South Side of Hornets. They're three and one. Cedar Ridge is two and two. And three. Quitman is one and three. And Mount Vernon Enola has, for some reason, it's only got. One, but I feel like they played more conference games than that because their girls had played more conference games than that. Editing up. Uh, just to take a look at Sloan Hendricks real quickly. They beat Cedar Ridge 72-69 to 69 as well. Uh, Southside Hornets, they beat them nearly 40 points. We'll find on Friday when we played the Hornets, but you know, sometimes you can't tell by that. They played the River Pearl. They lost that one, I believe. Yeah, guys, it's it's gonna skip. There's nothing we can do about don't, it. There's nothing we can do about don't it. Don't text Blaze. 
game. They had to go get them out. Oh, they're playing. The, they're playing the. That's good. That was, they're playing the Jeopardy theme music. That was cool. That was pretty good. That funny. was pretty good. <laughs> uh, good job, Mount Vernon and Ola, even if, though I've been a little bit aggravated. Mount Vernon and Ola's going to come working it around. Back up to the top. Down the floor. Over to Al Govey. Jesse running the baseline. Inside, Peyton. Jesse cutting across. Al up at the top. Over middle. Logan back door to Jesse. Ooh! That, that's going to block Jesse's shot, but the ball belongs to the Seconds on the shot clock. We that they reset the clock after every did and they did that at Central the other night were to do that. We thought it was supposed to on with the show. Bobcats getting on boring. They go for a ball to throw it back now five to zero. And we've had one minute of basketball. We're gonna have I Look to this team. Long pass to Peyton. In there and up for two. Five to two. Bobcats bringing their one, two, two press. Come out. Having to keep our feet moving. We are the better we are. Warhol. Well, they shoot. They miss. Logan Ward with the. I don't. Bright. Low to Jesse. Jesse's going to take a three. Tied ball game, five to five. Yeah, time out. I'm going to ask Coach Kate about this. Bobcats to the Warhawks. The Bobcats did out, but all of them, all of them, the referees almost, they almost had him come. Warhawks have the ball, working it. They don't really have a post player on the inside. Players going to the inside every once in a while. Come off into the hands. Jesse's Al and Bryce controls. The play blue. I have no idea what that is. Two people. Oh, what are we going to call him? Jesse on the back. Dad Yum. Yep, booty him out of there. So blue is Jesse playing again. Uh, or that makes me want to have to referee. I don't want. I don't. I don't need to do that. It's going to bounce out, but Logan Ward takes, drives to the middle, and up and in. Arms. I'm going to have to remember to brag on that. Working it around. He's got the, he almost got the steal. Uh, turned around and saw Logan and thought they better pass. On the three, the middle is totally player playing in that position, and they're bouncing right into the Bobcat job on the boards. Peyton driving to the boat. What happened, Blaze? How did that turn? Did that call? <laughs> she called a charge, which she's down there. No one likes to see their player get a cats on one two two defense. Trying to break the press, they're going to drive to the able to. With the ball, Jesse's going to drive to the bucket. Didn't make it, but he's fouled in the process. 
<clears throat> Gonna enter. It's no good. He's coming in for Algo. Bobcats bring in their press. Almost had a steal. They weren't quite able to throw it out of bounds, but Bobcats. Oh, gosh. We're Let's coach a little bit, Blaze. I am going to beat the priest with the steal. Oh, God. Oh, Kevin. I was afraid. He laid it over, but. No can do. Warhawk. And it's good. Nine to seven. Oh, it's not to Jesse. Into the bucket. He's going to shoot a jumper, and it's in. Eleven to seven. 322 left to go in the third. It seems to be doing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello, player. <laughs> that was. Three. Oh, Jesse might have got away. Ball off what, the tips of the hand. They seem to be. They seems to be better. Does is the. For the layup, Bryce. Try to block nine to eleven. Wow. Folks, pretend. Dylan with it into Logan. But Jesse, back up. <clears throat> Sorry. You're eleven. So the Warhawks. Are hanging right with the Bobcat over Peyton. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Very physical down there. Hold it in with the dunk. Yeah. And the the that's down there wiggling. Oh oh. Go for the steal. A little bit too much body. Substitution for the Warhawks. Al go tonight. You think? I yeah. don't know. Before he gets another one in the last two minutes. I need to help these guys. In front of my face. And it bounces right back out. Down to Dylan Tyler, who founds Al on pretty quick. Peyton DePriest with the ball. Al, Al's going to take the baseline into over it. Bobcats kick it out of bounds. Uh, uh, you know, I would take it being. That's not the. In our equipment, the problem is the oh, any that's kind a, of live stream on this. Whether format. it's video or voice, no, and decrease the bandwidth. It wouldn't do it. I mean, it's not a it's not a bandwidth bandwidth stability. Bandwidth is great. Bandwidth it's just constantly so. That. I mean, I'm I'm watching it right now live. It's well, just... we're gonna have a good time watching this ball game. People can kind of get up, catch up, keep up. To go in the first quarter, it's third. I don't know. Nola with control of the ball. Bobcats. Yeah. 
looking, they do have a, a the middle is really wide open, more or less is to shoot long drive, they miss, Bobcats on the rebound, spin move, he kicks it out to, but Dylan Tyler's there, back to ball playing going on down there, the ball, it gets out. Al gets his hands. Nola player. We get there. On they were going to try to have a fast break, but Pat able to recover. They're having. Oh, they shoot. Uh oh. Am I apart? <laughs> Go again. So the did we just have thirteen? Six. Okay. A three. I'm gonna have hydration because it keeps cars all tangled up. <laughs> Let's just have fun with it. Let's just have fun. Uh, so Coach K. Preset. Coach Kate says it. Like that. That we've been following for years. <laughs> Starting the fourth. of the ball. Can you hear yourself? I'm not real sure. No? Yeah, no. It's right there. Yes. Hello. Logan Ward inside, back out. To takes it back to Bryce. Bryce thinks about a three. Didn't know what that was. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Referees of the way the ball needed to go. Dupree takes it out of bounds into Logan Moore. Line. Oh, Logan's good. Does deserve that charge. He did. That may be his second. With himself, Justin Deckard yeah. into the ball game. Two, two, uh, defense number 30. So the Mount Vernon in Ola. Marshall Bobcats, they take the lead. Just walking the ball, basketball up the court. Right, back out to Justin. To move the ball quickly, we've got some. The reason being, there's a Al, Al shoots a three and it's good. 17. The steal and the dunk. <laughs> 17 to 21. 
Nola working the ball down. They try to find a player cutting across the box it out of bounds. It's going to stay underneath their bucket. That's, he's play, defending Peyton. Aggressive. Turn the ball around. Two, three zone. Warhawks trying to cut in the middle and drain. With two. That pass, 21 to 19. Independent turn around jumper. It's going to come off. Peyton DePriest gets his hands back on it. Down. So, Blaze, you say this rain will be moving. But Boy, you're talking. I can't talk. <laughs> For a good steal, he's going to be charged with the. If I only had be careful. <laughs> the top of the key, back over. Peyton almost had his hands on it. Bryce on the inside. We get our hands. The ball. Bryce Griffin looking for. He was going out of bounds. He throws it back in. Them stopped. We got him trapped. Cole Harness is going to be entering the ball. Good job. Bobcats are able to get. It. One to 19 on down the floor to. Back out to Peyton. Slow down. We're looking a little. I just knew it was going to go in. Another three. It's going to go in. Beautiful. Three. 24. Oh. I got. I got caught. Cat's going to walk the ball up, scores 24. Go in the half. Peyton Dupree set a screen. He didn't get close enough. Oh, a number one on the Warhawk. Foul count is we have six fouls. Dylan Tyler. Into Bryce. And he's fouled. Beautiful play. Beautiful play by Allen Bryce. Throw. Cohort, this is the. Peyton DePriest was over here talking oh. to Coach, and he was And we just got hit by the in the action, Blaze. You should have. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Okay. 621, Bobcats on top. Gonna go right in there. Scores 27. <laughs> it's leaning now. It's leaning. Inside to Justin Deckard. What have we got? Finally. In there to no end. Yeah, out to Cole. A lot of conversation. Um, 
got to be play your game tonight. <laughs> In, to your heads. And Bobcats doing an extra. Peyton DePriest with the steal to Coharn. There for the rebound and back in. All right, we're getting more comments. Good thing. We can't do anything. Just, oh. Young man number one is having a really good. Cats with the ball. Bryce taking it down. Bounce in. Tooks up, takes a beautiful soft float. Game. Check me in. <laughs> we need to move. Ben, Justin Deckard with the put me in, coach. Oh, I'm ready to over to Cole Harness. Bryce is driving to the middle. Soft float. Try to get a flop. They don't get it. Oh, Justin's going to get on it on the floor. The bucket's not going to. Oh, Blaze? What? Funny. Yeah. I mean. Justin. <laughs> I don't know. Does it, Justin want us? They're going on right there. His face. <laughs> voice problems. But. 30, 25. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, Mammoth Springs to the same distance spring. I wonder if they're boys. They may, the girls, 30, 25. Bobcats work. And them on their schedule. <laughs> Girls must have played Mammoth Spring in a time. Boys schedule. Bobcats with a seven. He's going to drive it all the way. Put back, and it's good for two. Bobcats on deep. Real good opportunity to get us good and go back and, and over to Cole Harness and it's in for two to twenty-five. Hey. Burning in all over. Cats with a steal. Peyton. Beautiful, just beautiful. What was a lead has turned into an 11 point lead by the Mark. Their defense is called. You play defense, you're best. So, Bobcats are going to belong to the Warhawks. 8.6 seconds, so. Back with the shot clock. Parking it around, no man in the middle, no running a give and go, give and go, cut, and court violation. So there's 19 point, an 11 point lead. Bryce down to Al. Justin can jump high too. Out to Cole. To three. He misses. What have we got down here? 
ball. Number 30. Number 30's been playing very aggressive. I, I might even add, I was trying to intimidate. 3-2. Buzzer. So we're going to go into to 25. Good job, guys. Take this time. <laughs> no. No, we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> Good job. So, yeah, we can't do we anything. Oh. Hey, if you if you message through Messenger or tell me all kinds of worry over here because he keeps the connectivity. So, yeah. I'm gonna quit looking at the comments. Yeah. We'll we know it is lagging. We know that. And skipping. Okay. So. A little off task. <laughs> Just having a good time. We are. Hey. You know. When you talk about in the game. We're in the game. We are in the game the song put me in coach we're ready to play yeah we know everything coach smith is so uh black names now Bless. get us a drink sounds good do what we'll be back all right
We'll see. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to just random and we'll see. It's still glitching like it. I'm sure. Problem. Well, let's talk about. Um, winter storm weather coming. <laughs> you know, I don't need. Don't. I, we don't need any on the. T well, I think it's going to. 20. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Hey, let us. There. Yeah, can, it has our comp. This she, this I think I about yeah. Marshall High School. Um, you know we have these kids every four and a half goes off their grades, their attendance behavior, and if you achieve, um, then we do a on a celebration. Yeah. And uh, and when they're done, and when they're time, they the, they put everything. I think they left the place in a better condition than when people were so tickled with them. Bagged on our Marshall Bobcat student body. Leave the bowling alley, and they go to eat lunch. At home, they're eating lunch in. And this man approaches two of her for what reason we're there and then how those kids got to go impressed with the behavior of these he gave them a hundred dollar bill to Isn't awesome. that cool? I thought that was cool shout out to our Marshall Hospital for doing what they're when they're away from school, you know your care looking, and that caught that. So again, I'm just talking about random stuff. Christmas break, I haven't seen that. up at the North Ark tournament. What day? I'm going. I love New York. So what? Nothing. Yeah. Well, they're probably because they're probably all gone to get a drink. Their text messages. They're probably not even watching. But you. Well, there's forty. Not listening. That maybe they turned us down. And oh I understand gosh. completely why. So, is it working okay. better with a On for a couple of minutes. Let us know verbiage coming through clear. Bobcats are in half. Bryce Griffin up at the top. Left, directing traffic, looking right, excuse me. Peyton is breaking across the baseline. Going to launch a three. It rims in. Vernon and Nola. No, that is with the ball. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, Mount Vernon and Nola has the ball on. Can you no. guys? No, no. I'm do the best it we is. can. It didn't take. Oh. Second. No foul on Logan Ward. That's going to be. Coach looking down his bench. Alan Tyler. The Mount Vernon and Ella Warhawks. For Logan Ward. We're going to bring it. 
press free. Ends. Back to Dylan Tyler. To Over to Bryce. See, back to Bryce. Bryce in and good. Cats applying pressure. Behind someone trying to tap it up. Oh my goodness! The ball down low. Jesse, they at the brick wall named Jesse Raglan. Cats bringing the ball. Jesse's running on the high post. Always keeping a man on Peyton. Smoothly goes in. Starting to break away. We've let one get away from us. Misses. And they were able to get that one in. To Peyton Dupree's break. Over to Al. Al's going to launch a three. Warhawks are going to have the rebound. Pass down. Right into the hands of Jesse Raglan. Ball. A little bit of aggressive D down there. They're a little... Uh, the key. Number one, he's more of their go-to. Had to do a pass. They're able to get it in. 32-43. To score on this possession. We've come down. I think. Maybe it's just one. Come to Jesse. Down low. Inside. Going to have a tie ball. Out to Bryce. Going to drive down low, back into Pat. Just is a three. Just a beautiful good three. 32 46. Cheering D up. Drive to the bucket. Nearly dribbled it. He's a dandy little player. Work. Dylan, he's going to take the pace line. He takes. Get his own rebound coming around the back. Uh. Third quarter, four minutes and twenty-seven seconds. Into Jesse. Jesse shoots a little jumper. Yes. Jesse with the re. Dylan to Payton. 15 footer. He misses. Stepped out of bounds. Bang. Fence, calling the offense, excuse me. And inside to Jesse. He scrambles in and weaves his. Magic how that play happened. He's on it, but he certainly did. It ricochets out into the hands of Bryce. But some Warthogs. Ball on the. You're going to call a foul. Alessandro, out driving for the ball. 39 left to go in the third quarter. Number 
one. Battle for the rebound. Oh, long pass to Pass. We're able to intercept it. Oh! That was it carried the ball. Out. He's going to take the baseline. I do not. I don't know. I don't know you try to criticize. Maybe, maybe. Bobcats with the ball. Battling down number three. He's elbowing. Get a foul right there. Right underneath. Working it around. I am. 22. Corner for three, 51-34. Put the camera on that the next time. You just can't figure out. I'll not be called, but I don't. I don't Why? Because it's the That's referee. Eating my own words. 57 to 51. I don't know that it's good for me to be down. I see too much. He gets away from the defender. Rebound. He gets it. He puts it back up. But we are for three. Who is just Cinderella, the stepsister. Yeah. It's bad down there, folks. And... Believe I was watching Peyton down low. Fire. Yeah, they're doing great. Bob uh, Warhawks working in. Soft jumper by the Warhawks. Take that. Al Gobi. Bryce. Harness. He, he looks, he drives left, back to in it goes, 56-39. Bobcats on top. Outside, outside. Oh, Lays it up. Nine. Oh. Step out, step out. Up, out, up. <laughs> I feel like up, Al. Stay off, Al. Back. Hawks drop to the bucket and lay it easy. 33 seconds left to go. Let's book Coach Kate. Bobcats, 22 seconds left to go. Over to Into pass. Kicks it back to Al Govey. Al wave the rebound. Bryce is getting a little around him. Taps it out. Al over to Bryce's head and he just can't catch. Left to go in the third quarter. Only have two fouls right here. Jesse Raglan ends up with it. Good job, Jess. Quarter 58 41, Bobcat. It's been a good fun, Bob. <laughs> fun, but we're having fun. Oh. Aren't we? I'm sure they are, but with it. Worried about it. One. So. I noticed the other night. Yeah, we had a hundred and one. 
game, Blaze. You did a good job on job. I enjoyed listening to you. My basketball knowledge, but still in there. Yeah. I'm getting better. It's terminology, I'm still. On the floor, Al Govey, just and DePriest. Moorhawks inbounds the ball. They're quarter. Side back to the top of the key to the left. Cut in the middle, try to kick it back out. Place it up and in. That'll be his third Bobcats with the ball up and in, 50 to 43. Stop that offense. Driving to the left. Stop them, they turn back. It's back up at the three. Down into number third. A wide open three. He's good at those. And Jesse Raglan comes away with it. Baseline into Jesse. Oh. Each other's mind because Peyton. It's just like they have played. What each other's thinking and what each other's going to Oh, my goodness. Good. Two, 45. Oh, Bryce Griffin with the ball on the left. Jesse said. He's down in the corner looking. Harness. Over to Bryce. Turnaround jumper, he misses into just there, lets his player get his ball. He likes to get right up on his player. So quick with those hands, punch that ball for him so many times. Warhawk almost come away with a steal. Oh, Jesse. That's going to be his third. They count the bucket. The half. It is three on Jesse. The ball game. Number 24. To make a three point play. Jesse Raglan's going to take a seat is going to take a seat. On the floor, we have Al Govey and Justin Deckard. Porter. What? It's about a towel. <laughs> DePriest, he goes to work with of Warhawks. <laughs> <laughs> Foul. I think every play but number two. I think you're out. You know he was money at Mammoth. Yes. Well when he was hitting them at Mammoth against Mammoth Spring uh, and that rims out. He's aggressive on him defensively. 
star. He's just an excellent ball. He, he looks like he's used a lot of ball out of bounds. Closer game. Noise. How about the fouling? Is very aggressive down low. Gloss is going to drive to the bucket. And Decker, Whoa. great rebound. Al, Al's going to shoot a three. 65 to 40. Oh, Warhawks trying to Dog on it. Bless them. <laughs> well, feel sorry for him to make a <laughs> and think you're going to have a fast break. And Dylan Tyler. There by number one. He is a dandy. Blaze, number oh, I one. I oh, did you? He got it done. Good for him. That's all. 50 to 65 inside. Warhawks are able to steal the ball. Poppy right now. Warhawks get charged with a hack. Oh, you just <laughs> you just foul on Al. On Al. Yeah. Warhawks are gonna call timeout. Going back into the game. Ace to coach to let him back in. Man, this has been a fun game. Which <laughs> Kate? I'll keep scoring. You can do this. On the floor. Who has played vicious attack? On. And he misses. On the quarter. I heard the whole game. comes away with the rebound. Peyton DePriest at the top of the key. Jess. I was going to give it to him. Turn around jumper. Eagles are going to, Warhawks are going to come away. Pass it back out. Number one. But it's going to come down in the hands. Shoot. Bobcats are going to Peyton on the draw on the baseline. Out. See, good job, Jesse Rack. 3.08 left to go. Hawks, they're going to miss it. Three comes away with it. He finds a player in the place. They're all when they shouldn't. They are able to. Seven. Justin Decker coming back. Al Golvey.
Takes a three. He drives to the middle. He's going to be. He did put his elbow on Peyton, I believe. No, two. I missed. I'm in over here, Talon. Justin Deckard into the ball game. We were wanting a double dribble. He picked, he was dribbling. He turned his ball back on the floor. Watch the, up here. Foul on Al. Foul on Jesse. I thought they said foul on Al. Bobcats are up by 13. Playing this ball game. We can't. Warhawks are going to foul. Number. We have six fouls. They have down to needing to foul us to get the ball back. They're going to have to foul multiple times. Clock is going to spin around. Kick it out. We're just a 10 point difference with Bobcat. She's did need to use every clock right now. Coach Smith is over here directing them. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for him to get out, he's beating the dog out of him to get that foul. Zone. The only time. Oh. He's taking our time, holding on. They fell us the clock resets. Charge. Oh, good. Seven fouls. We need them not to have. So, but if they would have just. The clock would have. 35 second clock would have. They would have just had the one or two. Because I just like to think it was wrong. We've now got it fixed. But I was giving you the information. The Warhawks have seven fouls. Shoot on that foul because that was a charge. Oh, that was an offensive foul. Now, we need to use every second. In my opinion. They have a different opinion. <laughs> because they're going to have to foul. 6957. The shot clock resets. We need to be blocking out on defense. He's found Al. Oh, goodness. Just sloppy basketball here the last minute. Just sloppy basketball here the last minute. 38 seconds left. 
it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's coming. Lost it. Okay. Well, with this thing is just internet. <laughs> Internet's got to hang on for 33.9 seconds. Well, it ain't been hanging on very we're going to walk away from here with a win, yeah. I, I do believe. So we'll still be the top of the conference with Sloan Hendricks. So are we number one or number two? Well, we're top. Same, have the equal record. But somebody. Next to, well, I can't remember who Sloan Hendricks played tonight. It wasn't Cedar Ridge, and that would have been, that would have been a that would have, they've already beat Cedar Ridge, so that would have been our hope. Let me look and who they've got um, on to Friday. Okay, Bobcat basketball. Oh. Al kind of walked with the ball, but they didn't call it, so that's okay. To Bryce. To Peyton, 18 oh, seconds. To Bryce, to Jesse, to Al, to Jesse. We're just going to pass this on out. And the last 71-59. Warhawks, let them go. They're going to shoot a long three, and they're going to miss it. Let me look real quick. Bobcats are going to walk away from this with a 71 to 59. So we're still number one in the conference. Bowden, or Sloan Hendricks. They're playing Quitman tonight oh. at Quitman's. That. Then they play Izzard County on Friday, and then they have us on Tuesday. The B Branch Friday. So into the ball game. 71 59. Be back. Wait, are we off? We're going to end the broadcast. We'll see you. Third Friday.